Hey folks. So, uh, second video of the day. I realized what all those motorcycles meant. It's always the little dogs that... It's always the little dogs <laughs> that, uh, you know, that are quick to jump at the big the people the big dogs are just like oh, whatever so that's my metaphor of where i want to go with this video in comparison to the motorcycles of the last video so i figured it out because i was talking about and i got totally distracted the original content of the last video was about comparing you can't really compare all clairvoyance I know when me, most people mention that they're 9D clairvoyant, it's because they do tarot, they do Vedica, uh, Vedica uh, astrology, they can do your charts, and they can channel messages, but do they know how to walk with benevolent pre presences? Do they know how to extract messages from, uh, you know, ancestors? Can they... Um, repeat shamanistic um, rituals without reading stuff, without reference. So that's kind of what I was mentioning was the things that I do in my clairvoyant journey are far way, uh, far way more over here than the others. What is that light behind me? I'm trying to figure that out. I have no idea where that light's coming from. I'm trying to block out everything in my... That's interesting. Um, anyway. Um, like when my friend was in, in some trouble yesterday. Um, not trouble, but he was, he was in need to have someone with him on his journey. He had just had his awakening experience. So, um, when it came to clearing out his uh, shadow work and helping him open a new timeline. I, I knew how to do all that because I work with clairvoyant presences and I have guides and the guides direct and guide me as well with what to do. So it's not really Aaron's journey, Aaron's life and Aaron's ego. I really try to share with everybody. This is all one reality, one consciousness and we all share like helping someone learn what you know um that's like kind of how it works and a lot of times we complain about the shitty matrix that we're in and all the stuff that we're going through but at the same time you have to appreciate that we're in this simulation because it does allow you to persevere and grow you gotta accept the bad with the good and you have to take the different with the normal with the common um, oh, geez, I was supposed to be somewhere in 15 minutes, and it looks like I'm not going to be there on time because this person at the bank is taking forever. Okay, let me see. I cannot see. Come on, lady. She's taking forever at the bank. And. I just realized something. My ATM card is in my bag. <laughs> Anyways, this is such a reality show, you guys. So yeah, like I, I mentioned uh, Aluna Ash in my last video because everybody always goes to her and this isn't like a, a disrespect or anything, but everyone is capable Everyone is capable of that 9D connection, but I tell people, A, you don't want to do that, and B, why would you want to rely on someone for answers all the time? If you want answers and you know what you need to do, either you wait for it or you're going to have to go through some suffering in order to... Uh, have what you have.
and my ATM card is not in my bag. <laughs> See, now I just I picked up the timeline from that lady across from me. Thanks a lot, lady. Uh, anyways, I will have to let you guys go because I have to use my phone to transfer funds from my other car to my emergency backup. Um, unless it's on the floor. usually can manifest this but anyways <laughs> so I want to share with you guys uh, connection to the higher hires and connection to other benevolent beings and whatnot that's just how this goes so anyways I'll let you guys go have a great rest of your day that's all I want to update you guys with was um, sorry I got distracted <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys later in the next video